to our economy. From screening moms for breast cancer, to caring for kids with developmental disabilities, to treating grandparents with Alzheimer's, these caregivers work tirelessly to help folks in these communities lead healthy, productive lives. OMC is also this region's largest employer, providing good jobs and strengthening this community's economy. As was mentioned before, unfortunately right now, inaction by the Missouri General Assembly is having a real and harmful impact on hospitals and communities just like this one all across our great state. Here's why. Under the Affordable Care Act, federal payments to hospitals and health care providers are reduced, but states can make up for those cuts by reforming and expanding Medicaid, the state and federal partnership that provides health care to low-income children and their families. In Missouri, expanding Medicaid would provide affordable health coverage to 300,000 additional Missourians, folks who are working but don't have health insurance. Now, there are many reasons why this is important that we move forward with Medicaid this year. Strengthening Medicaid will protect taxpayers from having their tax dollars spent for health care in other states. Strengthening Medicaid will create tens of thousands of jobs and inject billions of dollars into our state's economy. Moving forward will also allow us to implement reforms and reduce costs to the state budget, generating more than $90 million in savings and revenue for our budget just this year. Okay? And it will allow hundreds, money we can use in schools and other things, and it will allow hundreds of thousands of working Missourians, folks making no more than $27,000 a year for a family of three, to get the physical and mental health they need to live healthy, productive lives. Without question, strengthening Medicaid is the smart and right thing to do. We don't have time to wait till this November and have somebody voted out of office. These people got elected for a two-year term. This choice is very clear. And that's why, folks, regardless of parties, okay, this may have been a partisan issue during the elections. It may have been a partisan issue during the election in Ohio where John Kasich is governor, but he's moving forward on it. It may have been a partisan issue in Michigan where Rick Snyder is up for office, Republican governor, he's moving forward. Jan Brewer in Arizona, Republican, Butch Otter in Idaho. I mean, so the point is, I, I'm trying to keep this out of the context of a partisan political issue uh, because I think it's more effective to you know to come at this uh, you know as a smart thing to do as the right thing to do and now here because we didn't do it on time it's having very real consequences so rather than thinking about this as a campaign issue i'm thinking about this as an education issue because i think that um the the facts are on our side the need is on our side um, and i think if we continue to press forward that the opportunity to get this done this year is very very real thank you all very, very much